Hisham Abarita is a lawyer and the leader of the broad national movement. He joins us live from London. How would you characterize the state of the transition to democracy today? What, is, what are the latest statements that the military government has made? Uh, I thank you so much for having me. And uh, uh, actually, the uh, the coups, okay, they still the military coup is still they would like uh, to continue uh, to lead the Sudanese, and uh, the resistance um, a committee, uh, most of them now in the street, and they refuse and they reject this kind of uh, military coup. Uh, military coup, uh, we like. Uh, as broad national movement, uh, we stated very clearly, um, is that um, is, is the extreme is uh, Tabanda is not just in uh, 25th of uh, October, uh, like uh, 2021, but that it happens since 1989, when uh, the uh, the National uh, Islamic uh, Fronts uh, they came like by Al Bashir. Since that time. Uh, we say that okay, we don't need to give them any kind of chance uh, to come again and to lead the Sudanese. After the Sudanese revolutions, um, there is uh, uh, the military coup. They do this is the military coup is uh, behind them uh, is uh, the committee uh, security is uh, by Al Bashir. Uh, they don't want uh, to give the power for the civilians. That's why now until today. Uh, they don't want to give the, uh, this power, and uh, even uh, they have uh, they they shut off the internet today uh, mm. to to make like it's so difficult for all the people uh, or even for all the world wide to see what's happening exactly in Sudan. Yeah, but the pressure is just going to keep building, right? This movement of protest has not let up, despite. More than 100 people having been killed in these demonstrations over the past year. Uh, yes, there even uh, there is like uh, more than like 150 has been killed in Brunei uh, last week. And uh, uh, the government, the ex-government is, is behind all this kind of uh, committee uh, crime in, in all the Sudan. Uh, they want to be like a loose security. They don't want. Uh, to give the power for the civilian, and that's why uh, they need uh, to call for uh, the early election. They would like to come again uh, to lead the Sudan uh, again for like more than uh, 100 years. Uh, now, the older Sudanese people, they refuse exactly uh, this kind of coup, and they fight uh, to like to make uh the, the 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 country has become like uh, the other country i mean and instead of still we're fighting for the militaries uh we're fighting for the coups uh we like uh, democratics like all the sudanese now they uh they dream to have like a democracy in sudan mm. and uh like the transition uh, transitions for the this kind of the authority for the civilians but uh as i said these people they don't want to give up uh, they don't want to give, like, uh, to make uh, uh, the Sudanese uh, people uh, to enjoy by, by, like, the freedoms and so on. And that's why, like, uh, they don't want to give the, the power. All right. Hisham Abarita, thanks so much for joining us.